Hey guys, it's Rex back with our fourth installment of Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, I have no idea why my UI is so big and blurry. I will work on that after I post this video. But today we're going to work on a few things. One, we're going to annex China because that's just what you do. So let's just build like a ton of infrastructure because we want all those juicy Chinese resources. And when we build all this stuff, we're going to be lowering their autonomy so we could go and annex them. So we're not building everything, but we're building a lot of things because, yeah, we're wasting a lot of our stuff on taxes. So we're going to have to work on that debt there. The other thing we're going to be doing is expanding our influence inside the Russian government. Uh, yeah, I know I'm not producing a lot. It's mostly because of resources. Like, we're not going for war. We're, we need to work more on our... Boy, NATO E Brigade. Let's do a medium cybersecurity investment. I don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Uh, we're gonna decline. That sounds good. Political establishment reinforced. So, we have a little bit of priority, popularity, but we have a majority of support so we're gonna go and strengthen ties with our buddies Russia so that we may annex them <laughs> as you do and we're also going to reinforce our encryption thanks to I'm completely forgetting who said it but someone said it in the comments how to stop everyone from meddling in my elections um, okay yes we want democrat influence democratic influence in russia absolutely so we can go and bring them sure germany we could have a non-aggression pact Arnold is all about those non-aggression facts. You gotta be careful with this. Stable growth. We definitely want to have a better growth. See, Russia, you're not going to be able to target our citizens once you're under my control. So that's how you defeat Russia. You don't defeat them in a war or do anything like that. You just pop them. That's all you gotta do. Guess maybe we should do a little bit of these land doctrines. Just in case. Obviously we're not getting any 2025 vehicles anytime soon. Or 2036 G Wi-Fi. Sure, six I really don't care. Let's just keep growing that influence in Russia. See how their China's autonomy is doing. Alright, we're dropping. We're gonna have to drop a lot of levels before we could fully annex them. But that's that's gonna be our goal. Uh sure, we'll bail out Quater. After Russia, who should I annex? Maybe India? Get like a strong year. Maybe should I go after uh, Europe? The problem with Europe is they have like a lot of debt that I don't want to have to deal with on top of all the other stuff I'm dealing with. Ooh, we got more dockyards. Perfect. Yeah, America's running out of steel. Whoever would have thought that?
Russia, you shouldn't be attacking my influence anywhere. Because I'm going to own you pretty soon. Edge grants. Ah, useful. Let's see, let's continue. Uh, weekend economic increases opinion of honor for him as it's enthusiastic. Sure. That looks good. Arnold is just wailing on that debt there. He's obliterating it. Ah, definitely a witch hunt, of course. Of course, of course, of course. No, we don't want anyone growing influence inside of me. <laughs> See, how much money are we making? Almost five billion dollars. So as we expand and take out more countries, we're going to not really need to worry about building on because we'll get all those civilian factories. Uh, we'll decline that. Did I accept it by accident? I'm working on it, game. Okay, calm down. Uh, let's see here. Got a good chunk of PP. Russia's already somewhat western. And is it, they're gaining popularity. This will be a lot easier than I thought. Let's just keep, you know, bumping up that PP. We will own Russia by the end of this video, hopefully. I might uh, jump ahead uh, if uh, we see we're running low on time to make sure that Russia is fully under my control. Let's see what's updated here. Our tanks. Here in Russia, we have the best tanks. Or in the US, we have the best tanks. The greatest tanks. I can't wait to annex China and get all those resources. Because if you don't know, they'll be my cores. They'll be core states. Yes, we are unleashing the free market. <laughs> No, oh, don't want it. Uh, American steel production. Sounds good. Uh, oh, yes. Space program. I like that. Next election is in 2024. Don't have to worry about popularity too much right now. We shouldn't just forget about it either. Alright. Hold on, what am I have to do? The infrastructure of the Caroline Islands. Where is that? I mean, they're not considered a state, right? Uh, Caroline Islands. Right here is the Puerto Rico. Is it like, I think it'd be near North and South Carolina. Right? Marshall Islands. Here we go infrastructure 
Wait, of course. Let's uh, expand. We'll add statehood to Guam and Puerto Rico. Because why not? Get all those juicy senators. Get more. The Dalai Lama returns to Tibet. Of course, the Dalai Lama is welcome in Tibet now. Spy in Germany. Make sure they're not doing anything like they usually do. You know, the church, typical German things. Perfect. Autonomy is being lowered. I think I might uh, little, do a little jump ahead here. Just to make sure that we get all of those puppets. Alright guys, so it's been a couple months. Finally got enough things to turn Russia to into my puppet. I've also lowered China's autonomy by one level, so they're now a associated state. Or, now they're a satellite. But, uh, let's go here and start spamming some stuff in Russia. Once Russia is mine, there will not be much anybody can do to stop me. All right, let's keep uh, going. We might be able to actually go, how much do I need to go upgrade to economic boom? I need to have 385 billion. All right, when I get 385 billion, we're gonna bump ourselves back up to economic boom without increasing our debt. Uh, we are going to decline because I'm the one growing my influence, not you, to Japan. Uh, no, we're not going to do that yet. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Here. Let's, uh, let's go steal some British secrets. Let's just stab some allies in the back, if you know what I mean. Alright, you almost have enough now. And perfect, more dockyards. Sounds good. Our, or my, Navy, where are they, is getting pretty juicy. We already got another 52 ships. Including three carriers, which is nice, and I think we're about to. Yep, we're going on an economic boom. Oh, looks like. Uh, let's build another. We're not building. Um, okay. Building destroyers, so let's build some stealth destroyers. Because our fleet could use some of those. Let's see here. No, I don't want to increase military spending because we're trying to. Navy experience. That looks good. All right, let's see if we can get some new ships. Yeah. I mean, I know that technically... We're not going to do that yet. But, at this point, I'd say it's pretty okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So, we're building our... Decreasing our autonomy in both Russia as well as China. Oh, I should stop uh, exporting. It's slowing down. Don't want to get a way to export from them when... Uh, Let's see, Canada. Canada could get me some more steel. 
Perfect. And chili. Chili's got me my stuff. Uh, decline. No, Norway. I don't want your stuff. I know I'm researching this way early, but to be honest, I don't really, because I'm not going out to war with anyone. There's really no reason to get things. I mean, uh, military weapons. The political establishment is reinforced. Look at that. We're gaining it popularity. Because of our economic boom. We're making almost $10 billion. That's definitely change flag. Oh, because I admitted them to the union, that's why. And yeah, now we have 104 states. Adding new stuff to our flag. Let's go. <laughs> I highly doubt we're upgrading that anytime soon. Robotics industry is looking good. Look at this. Adding all the good stuff. Modern day. We have a hundred percent research bonus. Uh, Russia, let's uh, grow your support. Same thing with you, China. Um, good. Their dropping is no longer an issue. Because I was exporting from them. Subject can sit to war score. We're not even at war. How are they... Okay, then. Were they at war before? I don't really understand, but okay. Let's start building some civilian factories in both Russia and... Oh, wow. China's almost full. Let's see, what else can we build in China? Let's build some of these things. Let's make sure they got some Russian stuff in here as well. Perfect. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, it's been a couple months, or practically almost two years, actually. But uh, we got Arnold here. We've lowered China down to the point where they're almost about to be annexed. We have an election coming up. It's going to be so much spiciness. I've also found out that I can attack <laughs> the other parties. So we have 74% support for the Republican Party right now. I've also been growing a little bit in both Germany and Canada. And of course we're weaponizing space. Because that's what we do here in America. We make weapons. And good ones. I haven't changed my tax laws this entire game and now make over 12 billion dollars a year and we're producing our new carriers which is right we also capture a space asteroid which we're hopefully gonna go start mining soon sure we'll make cool medicine what do we have to build in Nevada oh and I think this will be the moment 
and wait for the game to hopefully not crash. We have now officially integrated China. And make <laughs> 16 billion dollars. <laughs> okay, this is kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's just... Oh my god, look at all those resources. Why am I building a 1965 aircraft carrier? Let's build the best aircraft carriers. Now that we have a stupid amount of resources. Let's, uh, let's see here. Helicopter. Yes, we'll build the best helicopter. Uh, operation centers. Okay, we'll get these. We'll get the best of the best. The production cost is right now 31000 Let's see how much higher we can get that. And we'll get the best helipads. Perfect. Looking good. What else can we get? No, we're not going to build battleships. Uh, let's see. We're already building some of those destroyers. We're already building destroyers. I guess we could build some more carriers. Because why not? <laughs> Alright, perfect. And we now have $1.5 billion. Then we're going to go chop... Uh, no, wow. Sorry. We have a lot more than 1.5. We have like 11 trillion dollars. We have like no debt now. Wow. It's just all gone. Alright. <laughs> I'd say that was a pretty successful idea. So now let's just build a ton of stuff in uh, Russia to do the same. Oh, we should probably go upgrade the destroyers while we're at it. So yeah, as you can see, this playthrough is very OP. Alright. Let's get our submarines. Cruiser improvements. Perfect. Now let's get our new 2025. Of course, we're going to have nuclear. The most advanced of advanced radars. Oh, what do we have here? We have an auxiliary. Let's get a uh, surface to air missiles. Let's get some anti submarine mortars. Some sea whizzes. Some of the best light like, guns. Let's, let's put some. Screw it, let's put some torpedoes on this thing. And we'll put the best helipads. Perfect. January 1st, 2025. Now let's go over here to our... Wow, we're producing a 1995 destroyers. Let's bump them up a bit and put the best destroyers. Let's see here. Uh, yes, mortars. <laughs> These ships are so expensive but they're gonna be no, we're not gonna put any helipads they don't need helipads and we'll put some torpedoes because why not why not have our destroyers have torpedoes all right sounds good let's keep rolling we're gonna drop Russia's autonomy to the lowest of low. We're definitely going to wait until this election before this video ends. 
So let's try and draw Russia's autonomy as much as possible and increase influence in Germany as much as possible. So yeah, we're getting our newest aircraft carrier in June. Let's also do a large thing so we can get some nice... And we're in an economic boom. Making sixteen billion dollars a superpower. You know, December fourteenth we'll get rid of this battle economic drain. I don't know if because Arnold Schwarzenegger's already served two terms. Don't know. We could actually lower taxes a little bit here. Yeah, we're still making, like, $11 billion after I checked my taxes. Let's see here. Uh, smoking set. Let's see. Fast growth. That's fine. Well, I mean, we're still making $8 billion. We have... Let's see. Like several trillion dollars in money now. Have we increased our PP yet? No, we actually decreased our PP. Go to normal way. Second Amendment. Oh, because of the medium lobbying effort. Well, I guess we should, uh... Canada has what in Russia? Excuse me? Canada. What you doing in Russia, Canada? Oh yeah, we should probably just stop trading. So we no longer need these. We're probably also going to just go destroy Russia's uh, autonomy. Alright. It is November. So we just got to wait till the end of this month. And hopefully we can get Arnold again. Or maybe should we get a new leader? Hmm. Election campaign. Let's see. Election campaigns. Oh, I can't, like, do decisions on these? Okay. Kind of disappointing, but okay. Yes, I know I'm researching technology way... Wow. Look at him. He's got 70% support. Oh, we can lower Russia's autonomy. Perfect. And then we will be able to annex them. And look at that. Arnold has won his election. All right. I think that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you like, subscribe, check out our Twitch, check out our Discord. Arnold is definitely going to be back because look how successful he's been. He annexed China. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.